<laughs> it was October 2013. Amanda and James Creighton were raising their three children in the western suburbs of Phoenix when suddenly 18-month-old Noah got sick. We were all sitting down to dinner, and I spoon-fed him a bite of, you know, what we were eating. And I turned my head, and he, he's just throwing up. And my husband hopped up and took his temperature, and it was 103.5. The fever persisted for weeks, but doctors couldn't figure out what was causing it. He gradually started being less friendly, and he gradually started being more lethargic. You know, this is not my son. And there's something really wrong. They thought it might be related to salmonella poisoning his grandmother had gotten one week earlier. I had asked, could this be salmonella? And they said, absolutely not. He would have bloody diarrhea if he had salmonella. He would have diarrhea, he would be vomiting. They took Noah to the local hospital for more extensive testing. We put the baby through uh, so many tests, blood tests, uh, catheter, and it's frustrating putting a very young child through that and still not having answers. They had to take him in for this MRI. This new surgeon takes a look at the MRI and he said, this is an abscess and it's growing. We'll have to do a craniotomy where they cut his scalp um, from one ear almost all the way over to the other, and they take a piece of his skull out. It was surreal, just completely out of control. <laughs> the surgery lasted nearly four hours. When Noah first came back to the room, you know, it was scary. I mean, he was, he was in a coma. Days later, doctors finally explained the mystery behind his brain infection. They said, this is Salmonella Heidelberg. And he said that, you know, it doesn't usually happen that they get brain abscesses from Salmonella Heidelberg, but Salmonella is a very virulent bacteria. And when you have a young child with, you know, his immune system is not developed as somebody else's. Um, it will seed in his brain. And he said that it's because of how strong the bacteria is. Correspondent David Hoffman came across Noah Creighton's story while investigating dangerous new bacterial threats. Over the last three years, we've reported on deadly infections at the nation's most prestigious hospitals. Could you give me a, just a, a tube fixator for... The rise of antibiotic resistance. Resistant, 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 resistant. Both in humans and in animals. And now, a common bacteria that has become dangerous in new ways, salmonella. Is there enough on this plate to make one person sick? There's enough to make thousands of people sick. Many kinds of salmonella are harmless, but some, like the one that sickened Noah Creighton, are becoming more severe and difficult to treat. Salmonella causes more hospitalizations and deaths than any other foodborne illness. It's found on a wide variety of food and sickens more than a million Americans every year. About 200,000 from contaminated poultry. Poultry products carry salmonella more than most other products. And the strains of salmonella that are showing up on these chickens aren't the ones our grandmother knew about. They are tougher, stronger, and many of them are antibiotic resistant. 